Hello, if you have a Dragonlink V3 transmitter, UHF, and you have a Pixhoff and a Tyrannus, this video is for you. A lot of people are having issues getting this set up, not getting telemetry back to the radio, and I am going to show you how this is done. Just follow along and I'll show you my settings. Go to dragonlinkrc.com, go to their website there. And we're going to get some basic settings done, some wiring done. So hit instructions. Once you hit instructions, look for Dragonlink V3 systems. And then we're going to look for Tyrannus Display Telemetry. Now here is going to show you how to connect the wires from the UEXP port. You're going to use only one wire, and it's a blue wire coming from the transmitter. You can leave the rest of the wires on there if you want. It helps keep it from being pulled out or whatever. Just wrap it around. Or you could pull the other wires out. doesn't matter. But we're only going to use this blue wire. And that blue wire is going to go to the pin um, up next there. So if I'm going too fast, please pause the video and look at the pictures and follow along the best you can. Once we do that, we're going to go to the PixHawk Full Telemetry. And we're going to make a cord using the UEXP cord. You're going to have to buy that separately. Plug it into telemetry 2. We're going to use the black wire for ground. You're going to skip two pins, the blue wire and then the yellow wire, and you're going to skip the last pin. And here's some uh, settings on the receiver. I tried following along like this exactly, and it wasn't quite right. There's some things that they missed that I had to research and find out. So just follow along and we'll get it done. But you do need to go into mission planners, mission, mission planner, excuse me, and copy these perimeters exactly as it is here. So make sure you um, save the parameters and write it to the aircraft or to the Pixhawk or quadcopter, whatever you're using. And then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, connect your Dragon Link to your computer and open up the Dragon Link GUI. I'm sure you've downloaded by now. Once it's on, hit the TX tab. Channel mixing, we're not going to mess with that. Um, but make sure you go to General Settings and then hit this. It's very important. Reset TX to Factory Settings. If you leave this step out, it will not work. Alright, so um, alarms, we're not going to mess with nothing there. RF band, you're going to put on normal. Use by, make sure that's checked, use by directional. Number of channels you're using, I'm using 12, but some people use 8. By directional bandwidth is high. RF preferences, fast, updated rate. Power, I leave everything on auto. Um, make sure your input is on PPM or SBUS, whichever you're using. And like SBUS there, PPM, I'm using PPM. External connections. Your Bluetooth is going to be on radio modem. And expansion con, Tyrannus telemetry. The baud rate is 57600. USB function, leave that as GUI configure it. And now here, enabled Mavlink decoding. A lot of people did not check that box. And I found upon checking that box, saving it, and then hit save settings. I got it to work. So make sure when you're in each of these tabs to save the settings at the bottom before proceeding. Now let's go to the RX. Okay, once you connect your RX to your computer and start your Dragon Link GUI, you should see a micro RX tab. Just click that and just follow along and we'll go step by step. For general settings, hit reset hardware to factory settings. That's very important to do. Once that's done, you can check your receiver outputs, change the channels, whatever you need for what specific purpose. Just make sure you got your PPM on the right channel. The UEXP CON pin 3 should say serial in, and CON pin 4 should say serial out. Save settings, then go to general settings. Um, just make sure that all looks good. Radio modem, 
you're going to set the baud rate to 19 200 and you're going to hit the set baud button then you're going to go down here where it says Mavlink decoding and turn it on and once you turn that on click save settings and that should be it just kind of go through it each tab and just make sure um, they're done right once it's all done right save your settings again make sure everything's saved and it should work now they, they've said in some of the blogs and stuff that I've read that once you enable mag link decoding that you shorten your range a lot well I'm telling you I've went out five six miles and I still get all my telemetry um, just fine on the Tyrannus uh, no problems they also said that you couldn't upload that it was just a one way by clicking clicking Mavlink decoding it was just made it one way but I don't know mine I was able to upload um, parameters and anything on the ground. I haven't tested trying to change parameters or anything as it's flying but when it's sitting on the ground I'm able to upload parameters so but that's it um, so make sure you uh, Reconnect your receiver to your plane and rebind everything and make sure you change your ID and set your fail safes and you should receive telemetry just fine. And uh, I'm, I apologize, this is my first instructional video, so don't be too hard on me. I'm not very good at it, but hopefully, this helps somebody and makes it a lot easier for someone out there that. Has a Dragon Link V3. Ciao.